Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the Deal Memorial Bandstand on this Sunday the 10th of July. Sun is shining, it's a great afternoon and a fantastic concert is in store. So it gives me pleasure to introduce the chairman of the Deal Memorial Bandstand Trust, Derek Lindars. Honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Deal Memorial Bandstand for this 2022 concert and memorial service. And today it's performed, you, performed for you by the band of Her Majesty's Royal Marines, Portsmouth. First, first and foremost, we welcome the families and friends of the 11 Royal Marines musicians who were murdered by an IRA terrorist attack here in Deal on the 22nd of September, 1989. As always, this is your day. We are particularly honoured to have with us today Lieutenant General Rob McGowan, Commandant General, Royal Marines. Welcome, sir, and thank you for supporting us. I would like to also express my sincere thanks to the Bandstand Committee, without whom the Bandstand would not function, but also to Warmer Town Council, Dover District Council and Kent County Council for the support we receive from them each and every year. It is three years since the last concert on the green and as I look around at the thousands of you here, it is a reminder about the strong bond that continues to exist between the Royal Marines and the people of Deal. It is also very warming to see so many former Royal Marines here today, all part of the core family, here to enjoy the concert and to join us in the act of remembrance. Ladies and gentlemen, you will be entertained by the finest military band in the world. But, but that comes at a significant cost. And that cost is met by the donations that we receive from you today, and that's invested for next year's concert. So I thank you in advance for your very generous donations, and you will be able to donate by debit card as well as by cash. Well, the weather is glorious, as, it, as has been mentioned, and so I hope you've all put on sunscreen, sunscreen and uh, wearing sun hats, because it is enough from me, and now time to introduce to you the Principal Director of Music, Lieutenant Colonel Jace Bircham.
no deal. Can you hear me at the back? How about the other back? Well, let's hear you cheer then. We're back. It's been three years and we're finally here. And we brought the weather, which you may have noticed. I am slathered in Factor 50. It's the best thing I could come up with. Closest thing I could find to liquid asbestos. That's likely to get redder later on. Keep an eye on it. It'll be useful later on for crossing the road. So here we are. We're delighted to be here. Delighted to see so many friendly faces. Well, one or two anyway. Here in Sunny Deal. With a band of Her Majesty's Royal Marines Portsmouth. I have to say, it's a real pleasure to come back here. It's, it's, it feels like uh, returning to a place where I grew up. I'm aware of a look down there from my wife who's questioning the grow up thing. <laughs> Somewhere where I spent my formative years, let's put it that way. Uh, and, and it's always great to, uh, to come back. There's always such a warm welcome for us here. Uh, between, and that relationship that I know has been mentioned often uh, between the Royal Marines and the town of Deal. So anyway, we've been really busy. Uh, you may have seen us around and about with the Platinum Jubilee. Um, and of course, featured strongly in the Platinum Jubilee were the world famous Corps of Drums. How do you start a party at the palace? With the Corps of Drums. And Paddington. We don't have Paddington, but we do have the Corps of Drums. Please give them a very warm welcome.
the Corps of Drums, ladies and gentlemen. And a number of items there in the programme celebrating the Platinum Jubilee and this uh, 40th anniversary of the Falklands. And uh, we'll pay a bit more of a tribute uh, to that later on. Um, our overture uh, this afternoon uh, was written by the composer Alfred Reed, and he would be 101 years old this year. Uh, so it will come as no surprise to any of you uh, that he's dead. Um, in fact, like most composers, it seems, um, which is a bit of an unfortunate thing, but it doesn't seem to stop them, does it? In fact, um, I'm going to share something with you now. We, uh, at the School of Music, of course, you know, we're expecting our students to write essays on music history. Um, here's an extract uh, from one that we've seen recently, which has a rather unfortunate typo. It's about Beethoven. In the years after Napoleon's rise and fall as Emperor of France, Beethoven was in a flurry of musical writing. Being dead did not stop him in the slightest <laughs> from recovering quickly and going on with his music. Sure, it was much harder, but he got through it. It's not just about entertainment, it's about education this afternoon as well, isn't it? Here we go. And we're going to continue with that theme as well. So the overture is entitled El Camino Real, which of course you all know means the King's Highway. Is anybody out there? Great, okay, I'll help you. It's subtitled A Latin Fantasy. Now who hasn't had one of those? All right, okay, now we're, now we're finding the level, aren't we? Okay, so Latin fantasy, it starts quite briskly. It's got a slow, sort of smolchy bit in the end and a bit of a sprint finish. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
little Latin fantasy for you there. Now, I know what you're all thinking, and uh, a number of people have mentioned it to me before on a number of occasions and said to me, you look hot in that. And of course, they're right. I do. But uh, I really don't know whether I should share with you exactly what's going on in here at the moment. So, <laughs> I'm going to go in a second and just empty my boots, which might take a little while. So it seems like a good idea and a good opportunity uh, to bring on our uh, director of music of the Portsmouth Band, uh, Captain Dan Button, who will conduct uh, the rest of the programme to the end of this half. However, before that, talking of looking hot, we have a fantastic um, item for you now. It uh, features, it's a duet. It features on piano, one of the bandmaster, Hannah Trudgen. She's back there somewhere. And on flute, bank on sergeant, Sarah Paxton. Sarah's in a far better rig than I am, clearly. <laughs> Baby's due in December. Yes, I think so, don't you? Yes. <laughs> to play for you, I feel pretty.
Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. That was some wonderful playing there, sublime playing from Sarah Paxton uh, and the wonderful playing on the piano by Hannah Trudgeon. It's, thank you. Uh, it's a real privilege to be here today. Um, unlike the Colonel, I wasn't privileged enough to join up serving in Deal. I started in Portsmouth, uh, but we're always made to feel very welcome when we come here, whether it's to these concerts or whether we are playing golf up at Warmer and Kingsdale Golf Club, playing something far from what is classed as golf, I hasten to add. But um, what really strikes me is the stories from the old boys saying, son, you don't know you were born. When we were in Deal, the three mile run was longer than in Portsmouth. The shingle's deeper and the water is wetter. I don't know why they speak like that, but. <clears throat> so this is a great part of the concert uh, for us to showcase some of our very fine soloists. Uh, you've heard two already, and now we're gonna move on to an Etta James number and you're going to be treated to the vocal singing of Hannah Smither and the wonderful trombone player of Fraser Wilkes. So please enjoy At Last.
How about that? Fantastic. So as we approach the interval, uh, I've been asked to mention that there are some shops dotted around. You'll find the Royal Marines charity stuff going on. We've got the Royal Marines band shop around. And hot off the press, as of yesterday morning, we have the brand new Mountbatten Festival CD from this year. At a very good price, today only, £14. There's plenty available. So, we've got a great medley now that's been put together by Trev Norton, uh, Captain Trev Norton, and it's called Diamond Decades. All the great tunes from Neil Diamond, you're gonna meet plenty more soloists. We're gonna meet Simeon Johnson on trumpet, we're gonna meet John Park on the uh, saxophone, and we're gonna introduce you to the vocalists. Sam McIndoo, you've already met Hannah, and Kirsty Haynes. So please enjoy, to taste the interval, Diamond Decades.
again I can begin to know it But then I know it's growing strong Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to start the second half. Are you ready for us? Okay, right, we need to practice something because I'm not used to walking onto a stage without applause. And I've just had to do that. Uh, and to be honest, you know, I feel a little bit uneasy about it. I'm relying on you to help me out here. So should we try that again? Okay. Come on, a little bit more effort, please. Should we try that again? Fantastic, here we go. <laughs> Don't ever let it happen again. You've, you've been warned. So the boots are emptied. Uh, I've painted some more uh, Factor 50 on. <laughs> Might have to resort to a cat presently. And we're going to start the second half with some music by the composer, who's also no longer with us, funnily enough, Ennio Morricone, and it features a number of uh, soloists. We've got screaming trumpets, uh, we've got fantastic vocals, it's all going on. You're going to love it. Uh, if you've, I would just discourage any gunfights in the middle, though, if you wouldn't mind. Here we go, with the music of Ennio Morricone. Applause!
And so we come to a time of prayers for rededication of the Deal Memorial Bandstand. We meet in the presence of God to remember those who have died, to rededicate the bandstand, to commit ourselves to work for reconciliation between the nations, that all people may together live in freedom, justice and peace. These are words from the Bible, from St Paul's letter to the Romans. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ our Lord. We're going to sing together, uh, if you feel able to join in with this, the hymn Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven, and you'll find the words on page 15 of the, um, the programmes. Please remain standing then as we come to remember before God and commend to his safekeeping those who have died serving their country, those whom we name and whose memory we treasure, and all who have lived and died in the service of the peoples of the world, and especially today we remember the 11 musicians who lost their lives in the Royal Marine School of Music bombing. Mick Ball, Andy Cletherow, Trevor Davis, Richard Feiss, Richard Jones, David McMillan, Chris Nolan, Dean Pavey, Mark Petch, Tim Reeves, and Bob Simmons.
Let us pray. The Royal Marines Prayer. O eternal Lord God, who through many generations has united and inspired the members of our corps, grant your blessing, we beseech you, on Royal Marines serving all around the globe. Bestow your crown of righteousness upon all our efforts and endeavours, and may our laurels be those of gallantry and honour, loyalty and courage. We ask these things in the name of him whose courage never failed, our Redeemer, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Royal Marines Band Service Prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, in whose sight are treasured up the memories of the many generations who have served you in the band service of the Royal Marines, we thank you for the rich heritage of music placed in our hands and for the joy and inspiration which it brings to people. Enable us, your children, truly and godly to serve you that by your help and through our music, we may continue to inspire, help and lead. We ask these things in the name of him who is our saviour and our leader, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the hymn, Eternal Father, Strong to Save. May God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the church, the queen, the commonwealth and all people, unity, peace and concord. And to us and all God's servants, life everlasting and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and all those you care, pray and love this day forevermore. Amen. Please feel free to take your seats. Well, we'd like to bring you a tribute now um, with a piece called Brothers in Arms, uh, written by Mark Knopfler and Dire Straits. Uh, this was written at the period of the Falklands conflict. We feel very privileged to have visited there earlier this year to commemorate uh, the celebration of Liberation Day. Um, and it's very harrowing to be over there and understand what the, the brave soldiers and sailors went through at the time. So please join us in our tribute, Brothers in Arms.
Sergeant Andy Platt and Band Corporal Sam McIndoo.
Okay, it's time to move on to the finale. Thank you. Uh, flags at the ready, everyone. We have sold so many flags this afternoon. I expect everyone, yes, to have at least one and to conduct the final part of this afternoon's concert. The Principal Director of Music for the Royal Marines, Lieutenant Colonel Jace Bircham. Give him a big applause, please. Well done, you managed to get that bit right. I was a bit worried that there might be a shortfall there for the walk on. But I'm glad we rehearsed it earlier on. Are you having a good time this afternoon? Good. Well, we've got another uh, tribute. So uh, this year, marking the 40th uh, anniversary of uh, the Falklands conflict. And I am sure there are many veterans of the Falklands War here with us this afternoon. Is that correct? There are, okay. So uh, this is a, a piece of music that's been specially written um, by uh, band corporal Craig Sanders. Now Craig um, uh, differs from most other composers in, in the fact that he's very much alive, and I'm pleased to say. Now, he put this uh, piece of music together and we've also got a video and it, and it contains uh, footage from 1982. So um, uh, that'll tell the story of Op Corporate. The House meets this Saturday to respond to a situation of great gravity. We are here because for the first time for many years, British sovereign territory has been invaded by a foreign power. After several days of rising tension in our relations with Argentina, that country's armed forces attacked the Falkland Islands yesterday and established military control of the islands. I'm sure that the whole House will join me in condemning totally this unprovoked aggression by the government of Argentina against British territory. The Falkland Islands and their dependencies remain British territory. No aggression and no invasion can alter that simple fact. It is the government's objective to see that the islands are free from occupation and are returned to British administration. this morning, HMS Invincible, flagship of this extraordinary fleet, slips her moorings and is gently in calm waters of the The operation of the Britain's commitment to the
generation grew up in Britain with this image. It stood for endurance, a hunger to succeed. But no one outside that elite group who made the yomp can know what it really meant. It was a journey no one wanted to make on foot, but the helicopters that could have taken them and their gear into battle had been destroyed. They had literally no choice. shows came in around us. the Royal Marines quickly began to put things right. Men who had been here when the Argentines invaded on April the 2nd and had defended Government House returned there that first morning of peace and raised the flag over the building they tried so hard to defend.
Well, that tells the story rather well, I think, and of course uh, it takes us back uh, 40 years and uh, our tribute uh, to those who served uh, in the Falklands and, of course, those who never returned. Well, we're into our finale now, and uh, what, uh, what we need to do now is regroup all our forces, which essentially means bringing the core of drums back on to the stage. Does that sound like a good idea? And I think with the Royal Music Association uh, just over there, and of course lots of representation for the Royal Marines Association here today, it's only right that we play the march dedicated to them. Once a Royal Marine, always a Royal Marine.
here we are. Our finale this afternoon is a piece of music entitled Men of Honour. Actually, we mean anyone of honour, of course. And uh, that's, uh, that's us paying our tribute uh, to all those who serve and all those who put themselves in harm's way in order to keep us safe. We will hear, of course, Sunset from the Buglers. And then it's your turn. You've got your flags. Let's see them. That's quite impressive. OK, so we're going to have a little bit of rule Britannia and a little bit of land of hope and glory. You need to make more noise. OK. France is just over there. And we want to make sure that they can hear you. Now, if you're having a good afternoon, which you take it you are, yes? A little bit better than that, please. Men of honour.
everybody bravo superb I'm gonna ask for your indulgence a little bit now there's a little back page in this magazine the Globe and Laurel which is where do you read yours and I think you'd be a fantastic backdrop so we need a where's the photographer 
Paul. Can you take that? Right, so we want lots of flags. Come on, Johnny, come on, Johnny, come on, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. Told you it was a bit indulgent. <laughs> but I don't care. Every day is There we go, right. Right, can you see the crowd? Can you see them? Plenty of them. Lots of flags, please! Yeah. Lots of noise! <laughs> You're all famous! So, I hope you've had a great afternoon, and I hope you... Did I... Did we see any... Do we see phones? Do we see text messages? Have we done all that? Is that a yes? Good, thank you very much. Well, that's it from us. We'll be back next year, hopefully, depending on what you've done. We're going to play our regimental march, A Life on the Ocean Wave. We'll play the march past of the Royal Navy, Heart of Oak. And maybe, just maybe, if you make enough noise, there may be a little extra. You've been a great crowd. It's been an absolute joy to be back here again. We'll see you again next year. Well, that's it. Thank you very much. We're, uh, we're off now.